Hey guys, it's AD Video Editor here, and in today's tutorial we will be going over the Sony Deform effect in Sony Vegas. So go ahead and open up Sony Vegas, and once you have that open, go ahead and put some footage on your timeline. And so once you have that, go we can begin. So go ahead and click the video effects icon in the lower right hand corner of your video track and then find its Sony Deform down here it should be the one two three four five six seven the eighth one up from the bottom and add it and click OK and then this window appears and the first thing you see is the amount however the amount will not do anything unless you change some of the other settings because right now everything is by default, all that stuff is normal, so the amount won't do anything for you. So let's first look at the squeeze. And before I do anything with the squeeze, you guys have to remember that your video is a rectangle. You filmed in a rectangle, maybe 1080p, 720p, 480p, whatever it is, it is a rectangle. Not it. So when you adjust this, it deforms that rectangle itself. Okay, so now let's look at the squeeze. The first thing you have is squeeze left. So you see, if you bring that up, nothing happens right now. Because now, once you're ready to adjust these, you can bring your amount up off of zero. So I'm going to keep mine at, let's say, I have mine at 3.16 just for my example. And so you see, this is how it was before. Then it squeezes that left side. But then I can squeeze the right side too. But if I do that, you know, it still makes it look kind of flat. So why don't I do the opposite, go backwards and make it really big. And then I can go to the top, maybe do like a subtle squeeze there, not all the way. Then go to the bottom and do like make it subtly negative, make it bigger like that. And you know, it just squeezes each side, making it bigger or smaller. And next we have the shear, and the shear just pretty much rotates it, as you see. It keeps it on the same plane as flat, but it's just like, imagine this being italicized as a font in like Microsoft Word. If it's zero, there's no shear. But as you shear it horizontally, that's your italicized as it gets very slanted. So you see here, it's just a nice slant you can add on to it. You can go positive or negative, backwards or forwards. And then we have your vertical shear. And I don't exactly know how to describe it, but you see how it is. It's just a shear, but vertically it takes the right and left side and moves them, rather than the horizontal side takes the top and bottom and moves them. So if you want to, you can bring the horizontal shear up a little bit, bring the vertical shear down a little bit, and just a fun effect to play with. Next we have the curve, and the curve will of course just curve your edges. So if you curve the right um, left side a lot, see how the left side caves in with the curve. But if I were to do a negative curve, you can sort of see, since it's a little cut off, but you can see how the left side is curved outwards. Here, if I reset this back to zero, I can go, let's say, to the top where you guys can see it. And if I curve it, well, you see up um, on the top, the curving positive goes outwards. And if you curve negative, it'll go downwards. And now let's go to the right side, maybe. I'll bring this up a little bit. Or, you know, I want to cave it in now. So I'll bring it down a little bit. The left and the bottom are the only two that when you go up they cave inward and when you go down they cave outwards. The right and the top when you go up they cave outwards when you go down they cave inwards. So now let's like cave the bottom out a little bit or in a little out I mean so bring it down like that and then you know it just this is a very fun effect to play with if you want a cool shape. And now going back to the amount if I bring this up see how much stronger each effect gets and how much and like how crazy it is so that's the bottom curve so if I 
go ahead and bring this up sort of back to normal. Well, it's hard to find normal again, you see, because everything's so like messed up already. But you know, it's a very fun effect to play with, and also I can bring the effect down into the negatives where it does all of that, but oppositely. And, oops, I'm going to bring the amount back up a little bit so you guys can see the background. Now going to these two options, center image and background color. First center image, pretty obvious, when that's selected, your image will be centered. But if I deselect it, your image is not in the center anymore. So you might want to keep that selected just so your video is always right in the center and you can always see it. And then net, lastly, we have the background color. And because since you're um, changing the shape of the rectangle that your video is in, the background color is visible. So right now we have transparent, which makes it appear black. But if I take the transparency slider right here and bring it up and then change the color, I can make it like a green background or I can make it a blue background. So if you don't want such a plain black background, you can change the color of it and it looks nicer depending on what your video footage is like. Well guys, that's it for this tutorial. This has been the Sony Deform Effect. I find this to be a very fun effect to play around with. I sure hope you guys do too. Please remember to subscribe and like and comment and like and subscribe and comment and like and subscribe and comment again and again and again. And if you have any questions, comments, complaints, anything, email me at ad.videoeditor at gmail.com. Well guys, once again, thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow.